this? Oh my god. First bass of the trip, just a little small one, but I just caught him out of this fast flowing water here. It just changed really quickly, like it was really slow up there before when I was when I like loaded into the water, but now it's uh, a lot more, a lot more fast and a lot more oxygen in the water. And so I just managed to get this guy out of a little log on the on the spinnerbait, a little grub there. So put him back in the water and let's get another one. Maybe small, but they're really fun. So I'm going to chuck them back in the water and get another one. So that dude actually spat out some like prawn or crayfish on my leg. So they must be eating crayfish or something like that. He just spat it all out on me. Yeah. small one on the spinner. Pretty healthy bass down here. Pretty, very healthy, no scars on them and whatnot. Yep, I'm 
Oh god, look, on the drop again. Yep. There we go. They're just hitting them on the drop. Another nice one. Yep, there we go, another one. Oh. Must be a whole school down this. Oh, he dropped himself. Yeah, there must be a whole school just like all hanging out in here. I think I've caught maybe three, three or four out of this little spot here. Lovely spot out here, just like cruising down, letting the current pass to both sides. Really good. Here we go, I bet there'll be one in this uh, tree over here. Yep, there we go. Knew it. kayak fishing because you can see where all the structure is and everything it's so easy to just point and cast and you get guaranteed a fish not always a big one but you know you'll, you'll always get a fish there so yeah pretty good little small one i see some just busting up over there so I'll try and get my lure in and quickly get some more okay i think there might be six Today, six fish. I knew as soon as, I, as soon as I hit the, the tree, that would send out a little vibration down at the bottom and send the fish come, coming up and checking out what was there. Yeah. So I chose to go with um, one of these little grub spinner baits because I wanted to catch a lot more fish instead of just targeting the big ones, like when I tie on a big jig or something. So I wanted to get a lot more fish, like numbers, so I chose this uh, little spinnerbait here. So it seems to be doing pretty well. So, um... Yep, there we go. So this guy was just hanging out in the trees back there. The current was uh, pushing me pretty far, so I wasn't able to get as many casts in, but I just had a, a quick little cast and managed to get him. Yeah, the, the wind's definitely picked up because it's traveling pretty quick down here. There we go. I think number seven of today. Pretty small one. But I'm definitely getting the numbers here. So I just caught him near those trees over there. Just chucked it in and on the last cast and hopefully there was a fish there and this guy managed to grab him. So pretty stoked for that. Massive! Oh my god! Definitely the biggest bass I've ever caught. Holy shit, that's a big bass! 
Oh my god. Well, look at that. Oh my god. Look at this monster that I just caught out of this, um, out of the river here. Just on the little spinnerbait. That's crazy. Look how big he is. Wow. He hit it really hard. I'm not, I wasn't sure if it was a fish or not because it hit it like a big train, you know? Like I thought it got a big snag and it was just taking me under. Like I thought, no, nah, this isn't a stick. It was just full on, you know, dragging me under. So, pretty stoked to land this guy. I'll give him a quick measure and see what I got. It's pretty sick. Nice fish. Pretty big bass. Pretty stoked for this guy, so I'm just gonna put him back in the water and let's get some more. 